Welcome back to this final part, part of Tales from the Borderlands, Episode 4. Let's talk what to the people. You, uh, you want to go first? Huh? Yeah? No, thank you! Well, aren't robots supposed to obey orders or something? Seems like yeah, a fun place, huh? No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant. Wow. Brutal. Huh. Oh, we got a control panel there. Let's uh try holding it. Guess this is what Jack meant about having someone hold the lever. And of course, Fiona's gonna get distracted while she's holding it up, and someone's gonna get in the way. And then I'll have right. to like deal with the terribleness. So Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me, just climb on up! Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh no, this is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. Unclear. Wow. It's all we've got, so... There's that. Well, I'm overflowing with confidence. That's the spirit! All right, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. Hurry up, Reese. Okay. I could have recovered from that better, How but you know, that? whatever. Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Thank you, Gordon. Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Yeah. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy! Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her! Climb! Climb! I am climbing! I'm just like, well aware of all the blood. You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave him the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Dude, I am You're in gonna hurt us anyway. I'm gonna have to call you back. What? Listen to me, you. God, I'm so <laughs> dramatic about everything. Ah, uh, it's good. Coo -coo -coo. E. There we go. And we made it off somehow. Handsome Jack's office. Hey, check you out, you made it. In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Gotta say, Jack, I... I couldn't have made it here without you. Hey, same to you, man. I keep having to say the things that keeps Jack from I used to trying to destroy me, here. but I know he's going to anyway, as soon as I let my guard down. Where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Stuff at window. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just take it easy. Help us. Look at the Elvis. guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary <laughs> method of communication. Gotta love it. The scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. What you got here, Jack? Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but <laughs> you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. 
I really room. don't want you to screw uh, me, but I know you will. The immortality suit prototype, but it uh, killed the subject, which is great, but just not what we're going for. I know you're gonna screw me, Jack. Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? So, what's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Delpus or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back, put up your feet, vent some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say, home is where your airlock collection of valuables is. That's a legitimate thing to you say. You this office yourself? <laughs> I built it. No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do that. That desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. I know, not in a, in a threatening, I'm gonna kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome. Got it way. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. That's the spirit. Ugh, Jack. I want to be cool with you, but I can, like, I can tell what's going to happen, and it's going to involve you betraying me. Endoskeleton hand. I almost cut off my hand and replaced it with a robo version like this, for, you know, multiplying my underling choking efficiency by, like, 8,000%, until I realized how it had impacted my social agenda. Nisha really wanted me to get it, though. Scan photograph. Angel. Look at something else. Not kidding. Fair enough. Scan Elpis. Ugh. Spent some time up there a few years back. Unless you're really eager to get spat on, or betrayed by a chick with clown makeup fetish, don't bother. Which, if you have to get betrayed, that's how you should get betrayed. But still, the low gravity's kind of fun though. Especially with the aforementioned chick. Thanks, Jack. Alright. What do we got here? Scan Atlas Stock Certificates. Hey, it's the deed to the Atlas Corporation! Won that off the former Atlas CEO in a sweet game of Texas. Give me the deed to your company or I'll load your dog into a gun and fire at your daughter. Everybody won! Except the dog. And the daughter. Wow, Jack. Sexy hat! Giddy up, girl. I miss my girlfriend. Ah. Oh hey, it's the conference call! The gun's so nice, we had to recall it and roll out a less lethal version. Fun fact! Weapons manufacturing isn't about making the best gun, it's about making people really want the next gun. We're basically drug dealers. But fun drug dealers. Okay. Unidentified Corporate Object Z. Oh hey, I smashed into the Atlas CFO's head with this baby. I don't know what it is, but he used it to get into a bed. It's cool, he wasn't a kid or a little old guy or whatever, he was just lazy. Had his servants carry him up the stairs. You should have seen him while I was beating the guy to death. My hand was sore from all the high fives. Okay. Insane goatee. Uh, Tacitus goatee. Nice. This was my old boss's goatee. Super nice. He was a huge dick. Omega nice. I strangled the shit out of him and stole his job. And then I ripped off his goatee as a keepsake. Nearly forgot about it. Uh, some days I'd wear it and pretend I was an evil version of myself. Shit was funny. Jack. Unidentified Corporate Object X. Oh hey, it looks like an Atlas brand traffic cone. I think I got it by swiping it from the crime scene while Harry was busy loading his daughter and or dog into the ambulance. May or may not have made fart noises at him while doing so. Scratch that? Definitely did. Unidentified Corporate Object Y. This is something from the Atlas Vice President's hovercar. Without it, his car couldn't slow down. The best way to keep an important part in your car is to not refuse to sell me your shares of the Atlas Corporation after I ask you very nicely. Ah, Jack. Welcome You're gonna to kill my trophy me, case? Huh? Got a couple of killer relics. A few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. Delish. Gordis, you there? Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? Okie dokie. Okay. It's probably one of these. Let's look at the magnificent shotgun. 
Oh, this? This shotgun is legend freaking dairy. <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call, because you're going to want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> then you kill them. <laughs> so this means you own Atlas? Yeah, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. That's pretty brutal, so my man. Okay, just repeats Atlas? the conversation. Yep, I mean, I couldn't right. click I on the, the shotgun shebang. twice, so why could I click this on the, got the certificate of twice? That's weird. Destroy all over again whenever I want. Cowgirl! Yeah, I don't uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, that was my girlfriend's hat. Well, her first one before she became a sexy badass sheriff type chick. <laughs> he suited her. I always get weirded out when it looks like he approves of a person. I don't even know what that is. It's... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go deep. Yeah. <laughs> Belong to the jackass Earl Tassiter, my former boss. I like to keep that around as a reminder of what happens when you act like a dick to me. Yep. I hope the future looks too negative. Mm, uh uh. Nope. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. Yay. The U shaped thing. That's the one. Fear. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Okay, now it's time for someone to interrupt Fiona and for the death trap to restart. To okay, here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. Okay, Jack. I know you're gonna screw me. And it's really getting me. With that gorgeous thing, we should be able to... So this is where it all happened. If by it all you mean the sex my girlfriend and I had, then yes. Ew. Just sit your ass down, Riz. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. That's for years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? Time for a big choice? Okay, Jack's gonna make his pitch. What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Gordis, come back over here. Wow, you're all telling me to do the same thing. What are the odds of that? Well, this is probably really bad. I'm not supposed to tell you that. We're kind of in the middle. I'm sure okay, she'd that's like to see work. you too. Oh, hey, here she is. Oh, Gordis. Hi, Yvette. Hi, Sasha. So, if we could wield Hyperion's mic together... I don't think Sasha sold me out. I think she got caught. Hypothetical. Of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? I'd open the vault, finish what I started. Even if there's a tentacle monster in there, I don't care anymore. 
Oh, you, you don't gotta explain. I was all about the vault. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy no, successor you're not. You're just gonna take over my brain. to the Hyperion throne. And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. I, I gotta so reject no it. Rush, like, but, uh, I've been playing along with Jack, but I have to reject no. it. You're a psychopath. Why would I trust you? After all the times I tried to help you, after all we've been through, you refuse everything you've ever wanted? Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. You know you died alone, right? Vault hunters killed your friends, they killed your family, and you croaked in some volcano in the middle of nowhere. I am really going to enjoy killing you. I'm done talking. I'm using the trapdoor. No. That was a trick. No, you really not. Ugh, crap. Is well, did you get the bacon? We're ready for you. Oh, that poor sweet Fiona. All good. Just get into position. Oh, dude. What are you doing? <laughs> this was gonna happen either way. Whether or not I chose to side with him. Whether or not I chose to side with him, he was gonna do this. Well, that shit's done. I'm everywhere in the system now. Not to mention my sweet new body. You're a maniac. No, I am handsome, goddamn Jack! 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 Welp. You and 14.2% of players stuck to the plan. Life is the story you make out of death. Reach hello or goodbye. You and 61.7% of players tried to stop the tour group from dying. Just because some people are pests doesn't mean you should let them vaporize themselves, but you totally can. You and 71.7% .7 of players shot an innocent diamond pony. If you want to break into a jail, sometimes sneaking in is not the preferred way, or the most fun. You and 60.3% of players claimed to search your database. When the truth is of dubious benefit, a white lion might smooth things over, but for how long? You and 12.8% of players brought Dumpy out to dance. One good turncoat deserves another, but even a swift retribution can echo with unforeseen results. You and 52.6% of players chose to reject Hyperion. Jack's glory is expanding, filling the arteries of Helios. How can you challenge a handsome, immortal machine? It's a good question, I'm kind of scared about that. Well, we're going to find out in the next episode, because this is the end of episode 4. Oh, the final episode is tomorrow night, and I'm very ready for it. Oh. Okay, hi, handsome Jack. You having a good time in there? I was playing along with Jack because I knew that if I, like, bugged him at any time, he'd immediately hijack my body and punish me for it. But uh, when it came to the pinch, I, re I couldn't sit down in the chair and like side with him because he would destroy me. But you know, I didn't really have a choice in the end. But you know, I, I stuck to my guns. I played along for as long as was safe. And when I got called to act, I had to uh, turn, turn aside. And look where it's got us. Kind of concerned about the implication the game's trying to shed that Sasha turned on us. But there's no way she turned on us. Not Sasha. I'm not gonna believe that. Man, Scooter though! Poor Scooter! I'm, I'm so sad. Oh, of course, Riss is Troy Backer and August is Nolan Moore. Of course. Uh, 
I'm learning more, I'm paying more attention to the uh, people every time. Well, it's going to be one heck of an experience in the next episode tomorrow. Oh boy, I'm kind of scared. But it's going to be good. It's going to be good. I'm pretty sure I cut these episodes good. This one will be just over 20 minutes, which is fine. I don't think there's anything at the end of the credits, but we're going to watch through them anyway. You and me, we're spending this time together. I hope you've been enjoying Tales from the Borderlands so far. I know I have. It's been something good. There's so many options and I want to know what they all do, but it's really hard to know what they all do. Well, that's how it goes. Oh, the handsome Jack AI is in the system now. I mean, if I'd started with him, he would have still plugged in and drained himself out. He just probably wouldn't have wanted... Well, maybe he would have wanted to kill me anyway. He was just using me the entire time through, let's be real. There was no team. Jack just played me from the start to the end. I know he did. Denying him at every turn might have been interesting, but I don't know what that would have really done differently. Maybe I'll learn in post. Who knows? Shrug. <laughs> That's good. Jack spells team T I I I I I I M. That's that's pretty much accurate. All right, that's it. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye bye.